Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com. In this video, I'll be talking about DNN6, which was officially launched just a week ago. And I would like today to cover the installation aspect of .NET Nuke 6. Now, uh, you may think, okay, you know what? You have done an installation video already. And actually, it was my, I think it was my very first video was how to install .NET Nuke, but that was over a year ago. So things have changed a little bit since that time and from that time up to now. And I would like to cover that again. I would like to cover that within .NET Nuke 6. And more specifically, my environment is uh, Windows 7 with with IIS 7.5 IS informa Internet Information Service and SQL Express Edition uh, version two, SQL 2008 Express Edition. So I would like to go from start to finish on that one. Now, without further ado, let's get this going. Uh, first thing is that we have to go to .NET Duke's website and we have to download the version of .NET that, that we want to install. Now, there is some automated ways of doing this installation with the web platform installer and web matrix for developers. I'm not going to use any of those. I'm just going to go straight straight to the install package that is available right here in this link that says install package. So I'm going to download it. I'm going to click there. I'm going to agree. And here's the save message. So let me save this. So it is downloading. So we need to go through a few steps. The first one is downloaded, which we just did. Now we're going to extract the files from the installation package, from this install package that we just downloaded. I'm going to go to my file system to be able to do that. Here's my file system. Here's the installation file. I'm just going to uncheck the block option. Sometimes when we download zips, this option comes checked. I'm just going to uncheck that and I'm going to extract all files to a local folder here in my local system. So I'm just going to drag this in zip and I'm going to extract to its own folder, which is doing right now. Okay, the, the extraction process has finished and here's the folder. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select all those files. I'm going to right click and copy them. Now, where am I going to paste them? I'm just going to create a new folder in my C drive. Just going to collapse this under more specifically under inetpub www root. I already have a few uh, folders there. I'm going to create a brand new one. A new one called a new folder called um, let's call it DNN six zero zero. So here's my new folder, and I'm going to paste all the files from that installation zip inside my new folder. So I'm just going to paste them here. It's just asking for permission. I want to continue. So let's just wait a little bit. Perfect. So all files were copied over. Now, the next step that I want to go through, that we need to go through, is to set up a web service. And that's where Internet Information Services will come in place, which is also called IIS. Uh, to access that, you can go to your Start menu, Control Panel, in my case here, again, Windows 7, and I go. I will go to Administrative Tools. Here is my Administrative, I'm administrative Tools window. And I will double click where it says Internet Information Services Manager. From here, I'm going to expand my web, service, my web server and I'm going to expand sites as well. And I'm going to go to my default website. Under my default website, we're going to see a folder, a new folder called DNN600, which was the folder that we have just created and pasted the files inside. What I'm going to do from here is I'm just going to right click on this folder and I'm going to select the option that says convert to application. So at the end, we're going to be running our site under 
uh, localhost forward slash dnn600. So I'm going to keep everything as is and I'm just going to application pool it's using the default, I'm not going to change any of that. I'm just going to click OK now. OK, so we are done here setting up IIS. I can get rid of it right now. I'm going back to the file system and to more specifically to that folder, which is right here. And I have now to set up the permissions of that folder. I have to allow the, the user that will run the website to have full access to this folder. And this is where we will be adding a new user access to this folder. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to just right click in the folder and actually let me scroll this a little bit up so you can see. Right click and then go to properties and under properties let's go to security and under security we have to add the application pool user uh, that the site is running from the default application pool. So to do that, very simple, we can just click Edit. Just recapping, this is Windows 7 on IIS 7.5. So when we do that, I can click now on Add button. And from here, I will have to type in the application pool default user to be added to this folder with uh, full, with read and write access at least. So it is called IIS app pool slash default app pool and let's click check names okay this is done and we just need to click ok it is selected here and underneath I can see that by default it has read write read execute list and, re and read as well I'm going to give actually I'm going to give full control. Uh, theoretically, you should be fine just by giving an additional write access. I just want to make sure. And again, because I'm running this locally, in any case, I'm going to go, I'm going to give full control to this e new user that we just added to this folder. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK again. And that has been applied. The security has been applied to this folder, to our website folder. Now, just recapping, we have set up the file, we have downloaded, set up the file system, we have set up IIS as well. The last step in, in the setup process, well, I wouldn't say the last step, but the next step would be the database setup. This is the end of part one of the video on how to install .NET Nook 6.